Hello, my dear students. Let's continue our today's class. Class five today in your social studies class will start lesson number seven that is India and its neighboring countries. So about India, we'll study about the location and extent. Where is the location of India and uh, where does it extend? Till where it extend? Okay, what is the extension of India? Now, as we all know that India is a big and beautiful country. Okay, so it is a land of high mountains. In our India, there is high mountains, there are high mountains, great plains also, extensive plateaus, vast deserts, islands and forests. So many physical features uh, our country have. Now, uh, India, it is the seventh largest country in the world. In all over the world, it comes seventh uh, largest country in terms of area and <clears throat> in terms of population if you count about the population it comes second largest okay India comes seventh largest in terms of area and second largest in terms of population in the world now after that it lies in the southern part of the continent Asia Asia we all know that Asia is the largest continent in the world and that is why the uh, our country, our India, it lies in the southern part of Asia. As I can show you in a map, where does our country, India, lies? This is uh, the continent Asia. And in the southern part of this country, this the color, red in color, this is our country, India, in the southern part of Asia. So this is the position of our uh, country. This is the location of our country, India, in the uh, world map. Okay, we can also locate uh, India on the world map using the coordinates of latitudes and longitudes. If you we'll, uh, let it, that uh, I told you about how to uh, this grid help us to know about the uh, place. So uh, just because you now uh, we can also show the uh, our country India using the coordinates of latitudes and longitudes on the on the world map, <coughs> like. India lies to the north of the equator and uh, north of the equator between 8 degree 4 minute and 37 degree 6 minute north latitude and 68 degree 7 minute and 97 degree 25 minute east longitude. This is the location of uh, India in a map of world <coughs> using the coordinates of latitudes and longitudes. So after that the no north south extent. Now if you count the north south means this one position. This one extend means where to where the uh, India lies is about three thousand two hundred and fourteen kilometer. So this is the north to south. Here to here, if we'll measure, this is three thousand two hundred and fourteen kilometer. This is the distance from north to south. This is the extent of north to uh, north to south. So, south north. Okay, three thousand two hundred fourteen kilometer. <clears throat> and uh, see from east to west. This is the east-west extent. This is 2,933 uh, kilometer. Sorry, east-west uh, extent is um, 15,200 kilometer. <clears throat> no, it's 2,933 kilometer. Sorry, it's 2,933 kilometer. And after that, the coastline. If we'll see these coastline, if we'll measure this, these coastline, these are 7,517 Kilometer. So these are the extent, north south extent, east west extent, and coastline. Okay. India is girdled by the young four mountains, means Himalayas in the north. If you see in the north, this is got, uh, means uh, covered by the young four mountains, the Himalayas. Okay. Now it is bounded by the Indian Ocean on the south. If you will see the picture of uh, India, the map of India, I'll show you. Now, this is, uh, if you'll see here, the, uh, in the, uh, it is bounded by the Indian Ocean on, in the south. This is the Indian Ocean, okay, and the Bay of Bing, uh, in, on the south, Indian Ocean, and the Bay of Bengal on the southeast, means here, southeast Bay of Bengal, and the Arabian Sea on the southwest. This is this is Bay of Bengal. This all water. Uh, this is uh, all blue part is all water, and these water bodies they act as the natural boundaries. 
these are the natural boundaries these are not man made these are natural boundaries and these are the source of abundant natural wealth for india it means the abundant means they are in uh, present in a great number okay present this is the natural wealth for india as india is surrounded surrounded by water on three sides this is 1 2 and 3 is it is surrounded by three side by water on and uh, land on one side and here one side is surrounded by land so this type of uh, uh, land is called peninsula uh, three sides surrounded by uh, water and one side by land is called peninsula india and its neighboring countries now india shares, uh, shares its its land borders with seven countries there are seven countries with which the india with which india shares its shares its land borders now who are they pakistan afghanistan china bhutan nepal myanmar and bangladesh now pakistan and afghanistan these two uh, share its land borders to the north west side china bhutan and nepal to the north and myanmar and bangladesh to the east now there are two neighboring more neighboring countries with uh, which share its land uh, sorry which share its water bodies not land borders water bodies it share with shares with uh, india and they are sri lanka and maldives now let us uh, study more about these countries the first one is pakistan so after the freedom struggle with the british when they uh, when the uh, the freedom struggle was there with the british india was partitioned with uh, and india and pakistan were formed as separate countries okay the in, uh, india and pakistan were formed as separate countries in the year 1947 and pakistan is the fifth most populous country in the world in terms of population it comes for fifth and uh, islamabad is the capital of uh, uh, pakistan and karachi is the largest city in pakistan now the people of uh, pakistan they are called pakistanis now along with karachi other important cities are also there in pakistan and they are lahore peshawar and uh, rawalpindi now india and pakistan share the river indus and its five tributaries tributaries means small rivers that flow into a large river the mountain range in the north also run in both the country. now class rest of the topics will continue in the next video this that's all for today thank you